Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So, what we're going to talk about today is, you know, how exactly do we factor um, by the GCF? And factoring by the GCF, I think, is one of the most important things for us to understand. Um, you know, first of all, like, why are we factoring by the GCF, and how really does factoring work? Now, again, to really understand, you have to understand what exactly is factoring. Factoring again is rewriting an expression as the product of two other expressions. And to really kind of think about that, um, I always like to look at the number. Let's say I wanted to factor the number 8. And if I want to factor the number 8, that means I want to rewrite it as a product. So to do that, I have to find something that divides into 8. And let's pick the number 4. So if I pick 4 to divide into 8, that answer of 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. right? So now, if I want to still rewrite my number 8 as a product, I can say that 4 times 2 is equal to 8, right? So basically what I did is I took a factor, which was 4, and I multiplied it by the quotient of 8 divided by 4, which was 2, and that gave me an expression that was the same as my number 8. Okay, so I rewrote the number 8 as a product. So we're going to do the same thing here. But now we're not dealing with numbers, we're dealing with expressions. So I need to determine a number or a, a variable that divides into both of my terms. And what we call that term is our GCF. And the GCF represents greatest common factor. Common factor between both of these. Now you can see that the greatest common factor of this binomial here is just 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 3, just like I did with the number 8. Then, since I'm dividing by 3, I'm going to rewrite that as the product times its quotient. Well, the quotient of this divided by 3 is not just going to be a single number like it was 2. It's going to be an expression. 3x divided by 3, those go to 1. It's just going to be x. 3 divided by 3 is positive 1. Now I have factored out the GCF. See the GCF is 3. I have divided it out. And we can always check our answer by applying uh, the pro uh, distributive property. For here, you can determine that the GCF is not a number, but now the GCF is going to be a variable, which is x. So I'm going to divide by x on both of them. And again, once I take my variable x, I factor it on the outside, and then I multiply by our quotient. So I divide it, and then multiply my divisor by the quotient. Divisor by quotient. x squared divided by x here, using the properties of exponents, I'm just left with x. x divided by x is positive 1. Again, check my answer x squared plus x. Now lastly, it, this is not limited to just binomials. We could also divide trinomials or polynomials with four, five, six terms. So in this one, it gets a little bit more confu um, confusing because we want again to identify what is the largest number and variable that divides evenly into all three of these terms. All three of these are separate terms, separate monomials that we need to divide into. So in our case, the GCF if you're looking for the largest number that divides into all of them, you want to kind of look at the smallest of terms. Well, the smallest number here is 7. Does 7 divide into 7, 14, and 21? Yes, and that is the largest number that's going to do that. Then we look at the variables. Well, the smallest variable is x squared. Does x squared divide into x cubed, x fourth? Yes, it does. So I divide every single term by 7x squared, because that is the largest term that can evenly divide into each term. Here, I have 7 divided by 7, which is just 1. Um, x to the fourth divided by x squared. Remember, you subtract the exponent, so that's just x squared. Here, I have four, uh, negative 14 divided by 2, which is a negative 2. x cubed minus x squared is x3 minus 2, which is just x to the first power. And here, I have 21 divided by 7, which is a positive 3. And then the x squareds divide out to 1, so I'm just left with x squared minus 2x plus 3. Um, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you factor out the GCF from a polynomial. Thanks.